another Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and um, build a template and uh, construct our views and um, configure our URLs so we can actually go to just one post. As of right now, we just have a list of posts and we'd like to be able to click on this post to go and read the full post. Because if you remember, we truncate the words at, I don't know, 30, 40, something like that. And so people won't be able to read our whole post. So we want to be able to put a link here and go to our um, actual post so we can read about it. So that's the ultimate goal today. Um, I'm going to try to speed things up. Uh, I'm going to explain as best I can, but speed it up a little bit because these, uh, you know, we're on like our, what number are we on? We're on less than 19 and this is taking very long and we're not even close to finishing so i'm going to try to speed it up anyhow let's get going um open up your text editor i'm going to close out all this crap for now and go ahead and open up views.py all right now i usually try to write this out and have an idea what i'm going to do but i didn't do that this morning uh, it's my birthday. I kind of don't want to be stuck on the computer all day, but I also want to get a tutorial out to you guys. So let's get started. First things first, we are going to have to be able to, um, well, we're going to have to create another view. And that view is another function in our view, I should say. And that view is going to provide us with just a single blog post. All right. Um, now, I want to go ahead and import a new function, and it's called get. Um, get object or man, I can't type today. 404. All right. So this uh, this function here will get an object, like a single object in our database, and return it to us. And if it can't find that object, it's going to return a 404 message. Um, that's pretty cool because if someone looks up you know, tries to find a post that we don't have, well, it's going to handle it for us. Because if it doesn't exist, it's going to handle it for us. If it does exist, it's going to get the object. And it gets the object by uh, a variable, basically, in the URL. All right, so we'll see that when we get to the URL portion of this. So let's go down and create a new function in our view. Now, we're going to do um, define the function, and we'll do post detail. Because basically, that's what it is, is a detailed post. I guess I could name it detail post, but whatever, post detail. Now this is going to take two arguments. It's going to take the request, which is the URL, if you remember correctly, and then uh, we'll use slug. And slug is going to be the variable that's implanted into the URL, and I'll show you that when we get to URLs. But it's going to take two arguments, okay? Um, now we're going to do, uh, we're going to have to get the post, so we'll do uh, post is equal to just kind of like this. we got a post variable up here, post variable down here, and this one's going to be get object 404 and then this takes two arguments as well so post so we're getting our post from our post model all right and then in here we're going to do slug is equal to slug all right so <clears throat> um, the slug is going to be equal to our slug so when the user puts in the variable or when the variables in the URL if it matches the slug, then return that post. Okay, basically that's what we're doing. If the slug in the URL matches the slug in the um, post itself, then return that uh, that uh, post there. So that's what we're doing there. And then the same thing we did before. We're going to do template, create a variable template, and equal that to blog post uh, post detail dot html all right so that's going to be our template we're going to return to the user and we'll do the same thing with context because we need to uh, return the title and content and whatnot so a dictionary and then we'll call this post as well all right one thing i want to mention is this doesn't have to be slug and this doesn't have to be slug but this does have to be slug all right so we can name this anything we can be say abc abc so um pretty simple Anyhow, let's go. Return, just like we did above. Return, uh, render, request, template, context. Okay. 
So we're going to return the request, or we're going to receive the request, return the template, and the context if there is context. All right. So that's our new view. It's pretty simple. The only thing that changed from the previous view is this get object 404, and we have two um, arguments in our function now. The one being the request, and the other one being the slug. They're both going to come from the URL. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out our URL. Um, so we'll go ahead and open up the URL. Down here we're going to add a new URL, so just do URL, and then here we're going to create our new URL. All right, so raw string. All right, and then we're going to use the caret. So if everything matches up to this point, um, we're going to use the caret. And then in here, we're going to put our um, variable. All right, so in here, we're going to go ahead and um, put a, a variable. All right, we do this by going uh, question mark P. All right, and then we're going to put our slug, because if you remember correctly, um, in our views, we have slug, all right? So this is where our slug is going to go itself. And then, all right, so in here, um, we're going to use square brackets. Oops, that's curly brackets. That's, there we go, square brackets. And this indicates like a group of characters. And then we're going to use um, Unicode uh, backslash W. And then we're going to go ahead and throw a plus symbol out here. So basically... Here's our variable, the slug, and then some Unicode. It indicates Unicode. And then um, on the back side, after this uh, parentheses, we're going to use our backslash and then our dollar sign saying, hey, this is the end of it. All right. Um, and then what am I missing? Something look great. Oh, our uh, quote. All right. And then we're going to uh, put in our path to our view. So we're going to do views dot post detail. All right, that's what we named it, post detail. Yep. And then comma, and then we'll give it a name, and we'll name it uh, com, uh, post detail as well. All right. Pretty sweet. There you go. All right, so our URL is done. So we're getting our slug, all right, for our view. All right, so we get our request. Let's put it this way. We get our request from the URL the user lands on, all right, goes into the view. And we also, in that request, along with that request, I should say, we also get a slug. So the request and the slug are now taken into our function, and they will go ahead and look for uh, the proper post. But there's one more thing we need to do, and that's in models. And we have to kind of give our, our, um, our uh, post like a um, URL, basically. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this like an absolute URL. So what we're going to do is create a function here. It gives our post uh, a URL, basically a way for when the view looks up the, uh, the object in the database, we need a way to match them up together. How are we going to match them up to each other? How's the URL going to do that? All right, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to define a new function, but first we have to import a new function. So let's go ahead and go up here. I'm going to move down the user and we'll do from Django dot core no dot contrib dot wait what am I doing? Oh, sorry. Dot core dot URL resolvers import reverse. All right. So what this is doing, what reverse does, is it kind of creates a um, a way for uh, our object to have like a URL. So it's like, okay, it's going to take our URL that we used um, in our URLs here, okay, and it's going to match up the slug with that, so it knows exactly what object we're looking for. So to do this. I hope it's not too confusing because I feel like I'm not explaining it properly. We'll define a function. So we'll get get absolute URL and one argument of self. And we'll return reverse. And we'll do a blog dot post detail. So detail run detail. And then we're going to give it one argument. So arcs, and we'll do a self slug. 
okay? So if you remember correctly, we do blog, all right? So we're coming into the blog, and then in the URLs, we look for post detail. There's our name, all right? Remember I said we're going to use this name eventually? Well, here you go. Um, so basically, we're naming this URL. Instead of writing this whole thing out, we're just grabbing the URL via the name, okay? And then we go back in our models, and it says, all right, so post detail, all right, so I got the URL, and then my argument's going to be a slug, all right? So our slug to our blog post. If this matches and this matches, then that's our blog post, all right, that we want to display to the user. All right, so now, in theory, we have everything ready to go. We got URLs, all right, so that's our request. We got our views, which handles our request, and then our response is coming from models and template. So we got to create a template. So inside post, let's go ahead and create a new template. Let's do a new file. I'm going to go ahead and save this as uh, whatever the hell we call it. Post detail, I believe. So we'll go post detail.html. Save that. So that's in there now. We'll open that up. And I'm actually going to open up list of post as well. I'm going to go ahead and copy all this. All right. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste that in here. Okay. Um, so extends blog base .html, same as it did before. We're going to have block title, but this time we're going to put a variable in here and we're going to call this, um, post. All right. And remember us, we created a, um, SEO title. So we'll call it SEO title. So we can return the SEO title up in the title portion of our document. So post SEO title and then down here we're going to take out the for loop because we don't have to loop through it because we're actually grabbing the actual um, post all right so we'll take that out and we don't need post we need posts we need just post all right so we'll take out post post take the s's out of there and then we'll take out the truncate words because we want to return our full on um, content so the users can read our blog post. We'll keep line breaks in there. So this little looks good. Good. All right. And the one last thing we want to do is go over to our list of posts again. So let's go in here and we want to create a link from our list of posts because if you remember there's no way to get to our post. So let's go ahead and create a link in there to each post. Now this is fairly simple as well. We'll go ahead and do a href. All right, close out the h or the a tag. There we go. And in here, we're going to put a variable. And this variable is going to be um, posts. We're going to use posts this time for the temporary variable in our for loop. So with the s, and then we're going to get absolute. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Struggling today. Absolute, yeah, I did spell it right. Absolute URL. And this is going to go ahead and grab that function that's returning us our absolute URL using reverse. It's getting the URL and the slug. Okay. Now let's go ahead and fire up our um, server here. Mine's already running. So we can actually just refresh this and see if we have any errors. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No reverse match at block. Okay. Keyword argument is one pattern of block. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's go find your error. And dun, 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 dun. looks like something with our URLs. So let's take a look. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry about this. Um, you don't know it went wrong. Oh, we forgot the the uh, negative sign. So let's see if that fixes it. 
And the server is going to now be slow. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see links. That's a good start. All right, let's go ahead and refresh that. Up oh, there's our post. So now it went. Let's go back. I just wanted to make sure it worked. All right, so we got our, our, our list of posts here. And if we click on it, it takes us to a new post. And it's a new page, a new template. So we sent the request to view Reddit saw that there's a slug in there and sent it back to us. So how's this all working? Let's take a look at it one more time. All right, so the user comes in and um, requests a URL, which will match up to a blog, like all right, blog, then backslash. And then behind that is our slug um, in a Unicode format of a string. And the, the slug's actually being put in by our link, all right? So it's being put in by the link, but the user could also type in new title to get there. Um, back in here, oops, sorry, in here. And then we go views post dot detail if they match. Um, so if it matches, we go into the views and it says, all right, I need a request and I need a slug, which is getting from our URLs over here. So it's, the request would be up to this point and then the URL behind that or I mean the slug behind that. Um, then we're back into our views. So we got both of them. So the post then goes, gets the object or returns a 404 um, post and slug. And then we return our template and our context as need be. And then in the models, we're creating an absolute URL using reverse saying, hey, go to um, the blog URLs.py file, figure out what our actual um, post detail URL should be throw a slug on the end of that and see what that looks like. If that matches with the request from the views, then return that post. Hope that's not confusing. Um, anyhow, now we have, we're able to go ahead and, um, you know, click through our blog and visit different posts and whatnot. Um, if you want to see what a 404 looks like, well, it's going to give us our default debug page, page not found, 404. But we can um, set up a 404 our page ourselves to return. And there you go. We are able to click through and see the details of each post. So basically, within, I forget what lesson I said it was, 18, 17, something like that, we built a fully functioning blog. Now, it's not the greatest looking blog, nor does it have a lot of awesome functions, but that's what we're working to. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And uh, in the next tutorial, we will be adding on to this. I'm not sure what we're doing. So I'll see you then.